The Colombo Stock Exchange CSE is Sri Lanka's primary stock exchange. Since 1995, the CSE has had its headquarters at the World Trade Center Colombo, towers in Colombo, and it also has branches in Kandy, Jaffna, Negombo, Matara, Kurunegala, Anuradhapura, and Ratnapura. As of January 25, 2021, the Colombo Stock Exchange CSE has 296 firms listed, denominated in Sri Lankan rupees, covering 20 economic sectors with a market capitalization of 3,699 billion rupees. According to Colombo Stock Exchange CSE, investment flows from the Scandinavian area to Sri Lankan equities have improved noticeably in recent years with inbound investments growing at a rate of 39% per annum CAGR, since 2013. According to a CSE statement, Scandinavian nations have together invested 8.2 billion rupees in local stocks so far this year, accounting for 23% of total foreign acquisitions. Except for a few firms where specific limitations apply, foreign investment in the stock market is authorised without restriction. Sri Lanka's free market economy was valued at $84 billion in nominal GDP in 2019 and $296.959 billion in purchasing power parity terms PPP. From 2003 to 2012, the country grew at a rate of 6.4% per year, much outpacing its regional neighbours owing to the expansion of non-tradable industries which the World Bank cautioned was both unsustainable and unequal and which has subsequently slowed. Sri Lanka was reclassified as a lower middle income country by the World Bank in 2019 with an income per capita of 13,620 PPP dollars or 3,852 nominal US dollars down from an upper middle income classification previously. Sri Lanka has achieved the Millennium Development Goal MDG, of reducing severe poverty and is on course to achieve the majority of the other MDGs, surpassing other South Asian nations. In 2016, Sri Lanka's poverty headcount index was 4.1%. Sri Lanka has begun focusing on long-term strategic and structural development problems as it seeks to transition to an upper-middle income country since the conclusion of the three-decade civil conflict. In 2019, services contributed up to 58.2% of the Sri Lankan economy, up from 54.6% in 2010. Industry 27.4%, up from 26.4% a decade before, and agriculture 7.4%. Though the agricultural export industry is competitive, technical advancements have been sluggish to reach the protected domestic sector. Sri Lanka is the world's largest producer of solid and industrial tyres, and its clothing industry is progressing up the value chain. However, the rise in trade protection over the last decade has raised concerns about a return to inward-looking policies. Ports and airports contribute to the country's status as a maritime and aviation centre in terms of services. The port of Colombo is South Asia's largest transshipment centre. The software and information technology sector is expanding and it's competitive and exposed to worldwide competition. Tourism is a rapidly growing industry. Sri Lanka was voted the greatest location to visit in 2019 by Lonely Planet and the best island by travel plus leisure. The United States, the United Kingdom and India are Sri Lanka's major export destinations. The primary import partners are China, India and the United Arab Emirates. The tea business, which is overseen by the Ministry of Public Estate Management and Development, is one of Sri Lanka's most important industries. In 1995, it surpassed Kenya to become the world's largest exporter with a 23% share of worldwide tea exports. Sri Lanka's clothing sector mostly exports to the United States and Europe. Around 900 factories serve brands like Victoria's Secret, Liz Claiborne and Tommy Hilfiger across the country. The applicable rate of capital gains tax is 10% in Sri Lanka. Equity research can be done with the Department of Census and Statistics of Sri Lanka website.
First, with more than 100 regions covered, you can learn more with the Exotic Markets book available on Amazon. Second, you can explore sector and industry intelligence for different countries by going to pervasives.com. If you have an issue in relation to accounting and tax with foreign stocks, you can contact us by going to our website.